My study abroad journey was different from the average students. I always knew I wanted to have an internship wherever I went, but what I didn't know was what an integral role my internship would play in my semester. I participated in the Parliamentary Internship Program in Edinburgh, Scotland. This program allowed me to spend 10 weeks interning in Parliament, and as an added bonus, I was there during the campaign season, which meant that I got to spend my final five weeks out on the campaign trail with my member of Scottish Parliament and the rest of my office. I was very apprehensive when I began my internship. I didn't think that constituents would take well to interacting with an American. I quickly discovered that the constituents did not mind whom they were speaking to as long as they felt heard. And as I began to listen to their problems, I started gaining a much deeper appreciation for the issues facing the people of Scotland. This is a skill that has not only helped me while in Scotland, but is also one that I've carried back with me to the U.S. Thanks to my experiences in Parliament, I've begun to de develop much more profound relationships everywhere I go. As my internship progressed, I found myself longing to go see the rest of the country. Suddenly, I realized I was opting to travel around Scotland many weekends instead of choosing to go to other countries. I wanted to see the places that the people I had been talking to were from. I wanted to understand the Scotland that they described to me with my own eyes. I wanted to immerse myself in the culture that I was spending my days in the office helping. Engaging in this internship made me want to be more engaged with the community that I was living in. This completely changed and enhanced the trajectory of my time in Scotland. As my time in Parliament progressed, I found myself becoming more and more passionate about Scottish politics. This translated into my being able to have well-informed conversations with Scots, something they quite obviously appreciated. I discovered that the added effort I was putting into truly getting to know the country and its people was paying off big time inside and outside of Parliament. At work, my boss was confident enough in my knowledge to let me handle constituent cases on my own. Outside of work, I was able to speak confidently on Scottish politics without feeling as though I was exuding the know-it-all American stereotype. Furthermore, I found that people would ask me questions and accept my answers as though I'd grown up in this political landscape my entire life. Not only did this experience completely transform my semester abroad, but it also improved my life at home. It is truly incredible how much you can learn from the people around you if you just open your mind to them. Once back home, I realized a change in myself. I've begun to actively seek out conversations with people different than myself. I constantly want to try new things and learn from those who know more than me. It is so easy to get caught up in your own life, but my time in Scotland showed me the value in allowing yourself to learn from others. I wholeheartedly believe that I would have fallen in love with Scotland and the city of Edinburgh with or without this internship. What this opportunity gave me was the chance to gain a much deeper appreciation for the people living within the country. I never thought I would refer to anywhere other than Washington, D.C. as my home, but the time I left Edinburgh I felt as connected to the people, the culture, the city, and the country as I did to the people in my actual hometown. That is pretty incredible given that I was only there for one semester.